guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Makeup by Carla Misa on YouTube and I am back with another video for you guys. I did my makeup today. I'm really really loving what I did with my look today. However, I wasn't able to film it. So I'm just going to share with you guys what I used in this makeup look. So this is going to be a makeup of the day video. So let's begin. So I'm going to bring you up close. I used my Quick FX No Shine Mattifier and I just used this to remove all the oils on my face and to smoothen out the canvas for my makeup application. For my foundation, I used this Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation in the shade of 200 Soft Beige and it did its job in covering out my blemishes although it's a really really thick consistency if you want me to do a review on this product comment down below and after doing my foundation i did my liquid contour and i used this fit me shine free foundation in the shade of 340 cappuccino and i just used this to do my liquid contour under my makeup now for my highlight i used this garnier bbi roll on and i just applied this all over over my under eyes, on my forehead, nose bridge, cupid's bow, chin, and as well as the cheekbones, of course. And after blending everything in, I just set everything with this Ben 9 Neutral Set Colorless Face Powder. Moving on to the brows, what I use today is something that I have discovered. This is the Jazzy Collection Eyebrow Gel in the shade of EBG02. Before, I actually used this to set my brows in place, but it was way too dark. And today, I tried using it by using the actual product and applying it on my brows and blending it away. And and it did a very good job. I have been using this for my brows for the past weeks and it has been great because it never smudges and it stays on all day so you will never lose your brows all throughout the day and then after which of course i have to set it and i use my second love eyebrow compact this is another new product i used is just a beautiful set i also love the wax it comes with but today i use the jazzy collection one i just set it with this shade of powder let us move on to my eyes so of course what i used for priming my lids today is something you would be shocked of i used this maybelline new york color tattoo by eye studio um, this one is in a shade of I think painted purple and you don't really see this on my look right now it's a very very vibrant purple I'm gonna swatch right here but what I did was I actually use this as a base only and on top of that I just take my wet and wild palette in a shade of green and I just love this shade right here a very pigmented cream color and I just applied it on top of the color tattoo and it gave me this really nice lavenderish purple undertone effect I actually used my Revlon shadow links eyeshadow which looks like that I used the white shade just to put some glitter onto my cream eyeshadow by the way this is an oyster kind of chalky but this is how it looks like then afterwards i took my fs cosmetics single eyeshadow in the shade of cinnamon mousse and this is just a beautiful color for the contours of your eyes i just used this to warm up my crease it's a taupey shade and it's so beautiful i used this darker shade which is in cocoa and i used the cocoa shade which i'm going to swatch for you as well on my crease there you go this i used to warm my crease up and this one i applied all over my crease again the greed palette and i used the deep black matte shade in this palette i totally love wet and wild and look at that it's super pigmented and then I lined my eyes using the Sansan San Waterproof Eyeliner. I actually used the one that is open but I can't find it anywhere right now. But it's the same thing. I used this to line my eyes. It's my favorite, favorite eyeliner. And this actually my backup. Really perfectly lined my eyes. Also, I used the cream eyeshadow for my brow bone as well. Now for my lashes, I just used my K Cosmetics lashes. Which are very, very natural looking as you can tell. It's very, very natural and I just love layered it twice and it gave me this really nice demi lashes look. I don't know if you can actually see but my lashes really look natural as of the moment. 
and I also used the cocoa color to line my lower lash line and for my eye pencils I used my LA girl glide gel liner my favorite one to line my water lines and to type line very pigmented and for the inner corner I just used the the same LA girl glide gel liner but this one is in a shade of champagne these are the two eyeliner pencils that I have been totally loving for the inner corners of my eyes and highlighting my entire face I used my favorite Elf healthy glow bronzer in a shade of luminance which is just my favorite highlighter ever it's just so beautiful I also did my powder contour what I use for my powder contour is it's just my favorite MUA bronzer by makeup Academy in a shade number three it is just a beautiful warm bronzer for the contours of my face for my blush I use something that I have used over time this is the fox in a box by hard candy in a shade of spicy and sweet and I just used it to apply on top of the contours I evaded the apples of my cheeks just to give me a more chiseled look for my lip I first moisturized my lips using my color collection lip therapy this is actually a lip balm with argan oil and on top of that I used my favorite favorite lipstick as of the moment this is the wet and wild mega slicks balm stain in the shade of rico mauve and this is just a beautiful beautiful color look at that it's a beautiful color for every day it's a very nice nudish pinkish color and after I did my makeup I set everything with my eyedo cream powder because this one is really powdery just use this all over my face to remove the oils while I was doing my makeup and ta-da this is now my makeup look so I hope you enjoyed this video although I only talked all throughout the video and I wasn't able to film this look which I'm really sorry about sorry guys but I hope you still enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you in the next one bye guys